In this tutorial, I will show you how to get a free double tracked rhythm guitar if you only have one recording. Let's get started. So for the sake of argument, let's assume you have your entire song recorded, but you don't have a second rhythm guitar. So instead of having a left right, you only have a left guitar. And whatever you do, you can put it in the middle. It will never have the impact of actual double track guitars, which is kind of a necessity in modern productions. A lot of songs even have quad track guitars, so with only one recording, you're not going to make it far if you want to stand up against other productions. So what do you do? The band's already left. You don't have a guitar. Um, you don't have strings. You don't know any session players. The song has to be done in five minutes. What do you do? Well, I will show you a neat trick. So we duplicate our uh, our recording and so if you just duplicate and put it left and right, what happens? Nothing, we just made it louder, but it's still the same. It's still a mono signal. So what I'm gonna use is called Side Widener by Choice 30 Stones. Shout out to Joey Sturgis Stones, by the way, awesome plugin manufacturers. What this does is it takes your signal, which is mono, and then it turns it stereo. So, so this is left, right, and if it's in the center, it's a mono signal. So if we take off the bypass, You, if you're wearing headphones, you're gonna really hear this. How it went from the middle out. So. So we do this and we duplicated our track and then we use manipulator, which just, here we take the left channel, here we take the right channel. And then we add distortion, good old pot form, criminal amp, doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. And then mute this stuff. And let's hear it. I think in the mix, it's really hard to notice. It, it sounds kind of phasey, and as I said, this is a last resort solution, but honestly, it's better than being stuck with one guitar, and it might save you here or there. So yeah, let's, uh, let's compare this thing. So these are uh, actual double track guitars, as you can see, and here the fake guitar is the, using the trick to get the double. So let's do it. Real thing. I think in the mix it's pretty hard to tell. Uh, obviously it sounds kind of phasey and it's uh, especially these pinch harmonics. I think they sound kind of weird, but other than that, this can be a real lifesaver. I could also see this being used maybe if you have double track guitars and you want quad tracked. Or if you have a lead guitar that isn't loud enough, you can use this. Uh, maybe even on bass, I haven't tried it. One thing that also needs to be mentioned is that this only works on raw direct input signals. So this will not work on already distorted signals from your amp. Yeah, I just wanted to show this to you guys and let me know what you think in the comments because I think this is uh, pretty useful. 
and yeah subscribe stay tuned for more cool tutorials see you next time